Hi everyone, uh, welcome back again. This video is uh, about the, the solar system we've gone across here. I've worked out there's nine panels going across in this roof here. It is self facing. Comes off nice and easy now. Uh, a lot of timber across the back. We can get a bit of snow lying on it. Nice and solid. And we're going to put so many beams up. Look, we just rolling now, aren't we? Hey, good life that one. Hi everyone, uh, welcome back again. Uh, this video is about me 240 watt uh, solar panels I've bought for me, uh, well, from Shed really, just to make it a lot cheaper. So it's costing a fortune, it's electric, all the costs are going up in gas, electric, everything really. So I'm trying to save yourself a bit of money. So it cost me a fortune with all these pumps and everything running. I've got a couple of heaters in the shed as well. So I bought an 8 kilowatt system. Uh, it's got 240 watt panels, it's got 34 panels with it. He did sell me an 8 kilowatt inverter as well, but uh, it's a wrong inverter, it's a three phase one. I didn't know which they got on, he just told me it was a 240 one. Realised when I got it on, I uh, looked at it. Looked at the model number, which I should have checked earlier myself. It's an 8 kilowatt, uh, obviously, three phase one, which is no good to me. I want a 240. So I'll ring him back up, it's not a problem to give you the wrong one, but he hasn't got the 8 kilowatt one in a stock like. So what he's done, he's found me a 5.5 kilowatt hybrid one and a 3.5 kilowatt uh, inverter grid one like. So the eight kilowatt one, uh, the eight kilowatt, the five and a half kilowatt one will run this uh, side of the shed across here, and that'll run on the, the batches as well. So we'll, we'll top the batches and stuff up. But I haven't got the batches yet, which we'll get in a few weeks' time. He's going to make me some up uh, to put in the shed and get all them sorted really. Uh, the three and a half kilowatt one, uh, which we won't put on just yet, that'll be going on the other side of the roof, which I'll be doing in the next month or so on there. So the main reason, uh, the main thing is get this five and a half kilowatt this side all run. Or running to save me some uh, money over the winter. So uh, what I'll do, I'll turn you around and show you what I'm doing. I'll see you in a second. So as I was saying in my last video, I'm just going to put the uh, solar panels up here. Start from this section here, all the way across. So it's just over nine meters that is there. So the panels just less than a meter each. So it'll be nine panels. Uh, total will be 18 panels because uh, one set at the front, another set. I'll be at the back, across that. So we're going to give it a good jet washing today. As you can see, it's all manky. For the last few years, it's all bossed up. But the gutters are clean as well before they start building it all. So my granddad's old stepladder's there. Uh, stepladder, uh, ladder, should I say. So he's passed away 12 years ago, and he's had them a good 30 years before that. Trusty old ladders there now. Proper solid, not easily these new aluminium crap. So yeah, the old aluminium. Solid ladders there. So I'm going to climb up them now, and have a quick look up there and show you what I'm doing. So this is the roof that'll be going on. Just got up on the ladders now. So there'll be nine panels coming across this way. Nine coming across that way. So you've got to put the supports. Obviously going to put a timber frame all the way across the back. All down there. Same again coming across down there. Coming across here. Back up again with a few pieces in the middle to support it over these two braces here. Where the man can see where they are. So I'm going to screw straight onto them. Obviously I'll screw here. And these bits here, where it's nice and solid, where to put the frame, straight into there. Same again, drill into there, so it's not on that uh, effect in this bit here, so the water won't be leaking back into there. So what I'm going to do first, give it a good jet washing down, get all this moss and crap and everything, and uh, get some framework done, I think. Get a bit of framework. So there's a tree there, let's say it's not too bad. So I'm going to trim it back now and again, it's only for them two solar panels there. So in this roof here, it is self-facing across here it's a self-facing uh, roof so it works out perfect it's got the compass out and the uh, self is that way so we're getting most of the sun so the sun does come up uh, does it come up somewhere here i think comes around and it ends there so we get it all day long so i should get a, a bit of energy out of that so it's winter time now the sun is quite high still as you can see it's above the roof it's coming down into here, so it is uh, November, so the shortest day is uh, December, so it's only got the uh, seven, eight weeks away. So we can see the sun is still in the roof there, and hopefully we get uh, a lot of energy off it. Right, let's get on with this jet washing, and we'll get back to you. So we've got the 18 panels going on this one here, but what I'm thinking of doing as well, because I've got uh, 34 panels all in total. Uh, this is me shed, all of the pool room and stuff, there's a snooker table underneath me here. So what I think they're doing is putting the, the rest of the panels on this roof here because it's a nice solid roof. I don't trust that one. I won't put one there. Let's send this one. Going across here. Across here. Uh, so I've got left 18. So 16 panels left. I'll measure up. 
Let's see if we get across here. I'm across there, because I've got uh, two inverters. One's, what's one? I think one's five and a half kilowatt, and the other one's three and a half kilowatt. So the five and a half kilowatt I'll do for this size here. And that is a hybrid one as well, so that will charge the batteries as well, this one will. So I've got some batteries and stuff yet. That will charge the batteries. But this one on this roof here, that's just the solar panel on uh, the main inverter to run it through. All right, there we go. Let's get the small jet wash out now. Give us a jet wash all down. Give us a green moss. There's the tree I was talking about. It's a small tree. We'll give us a little jet wash down today. We can get rid of the, this framework. As you can see all the moss over over it. So the framework's nice and solid. So I put my braces across here, across there, across there, around there, and down there. Let's say nine panels at the back, nine panels at the front. Right, let's get this uh, jet wash down and get back to you halfway through. Right, just over halfway. It was a uh, mucky more this side there. Obviously, got the tree there, so more look and that comes off there it's more stiffer I'm saying it's looking a lot better now as you can see just this little bit here and the, where the old pub side is just around here so you can see it's nowhere near as tough the side comes off nice and easy now across there it's a bit stiffer over there but it's coming off and there we go looking good let's finish this bit this bit here and uh, hopefully get some uh, three by two up here today across there a bit of a tilt on it probably double the size that back there so pull it up a little bit more a bit of an angle for the sun well no sun not today but saying uh, these panels that we've got here are winter panels as well you see so hopefully get a lot more energy off them it's in a time will tell and we'll see how we go next uh, few weeks time when it's all up and running and there we are all jet washed off we put these solar panels on i'm saying they're on let's put in a button uh, Three by two all the way across there, double it up so it's got a bit more tilt on it in the roof, the solar panels. So whenever I'm standing on this roof as well, make sure I follow these joices. Stay on these, keep standing on them. If I don't stand in the middle, I'll fall straight through. And uh, we'll have a big hole in my pond, uh, in my roof, where my pond is, shall I say. So I'm right above the pond now. So underneath there as well, I'll be taking that down, the grey stuff that's on there. Obviously, this is my seating area, which will be a pond eventually as well. Right, I'm just going to get down there, clean the mess up, what I've made off the roof, all the crap on the floor, all from jet washing, all the muck off the top, all on the uh, pavings downstairs. So get down there, give that a jet wash, and uh, hopefully bring some freebie to up and work out what I'm doing. So we're not uh, done too bad. It's a bit muck around here, a bit around here. That's the worst bit there, the end of it where the rudders is. I've been jet washing off. Get this crap up. I'm going to get back up there and get uh, some free bit too, like I was saying, I'll show you what I'm doing. Just been got a load of timber, it's another 10 lengths outside to get in yet. So there's uh, some free bit twos, that's what I'm going to use. So these are right across there, I need a lot more than that obviously, so we've got another 10 for now, just a uh, good ones to start along the back. We can get some more later on. Uh, we'll go up there, lay it all out and show you what uh, I'm going to do. And there we go, that's how we worked it all out. So this bit section here goes straight across the back. All across there. Here, that's where the main wall is, the stud wall. Across there, that's all the strength. There's a beam across that bit there, coming across into there. Be all screwed on. Same again there, need to work out where the beams come across. Well, I worked it's uh, 690, the panels are. Uh, 1690, should I say, sorry. So they're coming from there to there. So don't worry about nothing's level just yet. So I've got to go through it all, just uh, working out now uh, what other more timber and stuff I need. That's the section where it's going to be. So this bit will still be light. That top bit there, that's where it comes on to. We start from there, come all the way across, all the way down, and across here. So obviously I need some more timber. There's over 10 lengths in the van. We'll go and get it out. Uh, this back section here, that's going to be nice and flat first. I'm going to stand on edge, so it's got more of a tilt coming down. So it's already got a tilt, this roof has anyway, but want a bit more of a tilt. So I don't hold water too much and it runs off the solar panels. Off there, 
and down into there. So that'll do, I'll get back to you tomorrow. Uh, say get back to you tomorrow. Obviously that's it for tonight. It's uh, getting dark now. Sun's going down. As you can see, nice sunset over there. Obviously we're not getting no daylight now. So we won't get the sun on here. So it's obviously, uh, it is six o'clock now. Clock's go back tonight. So we're losing another hour as well. So we'll eventually get probably eight hours a day of sunlight for the winter. But in the summertime, this should be pretty bang on. So after tomorrow, get these screwed up and it should be looking good. So this weather don't uh, know what it's going to do. Obviously it's next day now, next morning. It's supposed to be dry all day on this Sunday, but uh, it's not. We'll see, just had to put the gazebo up. That's all up now. It's saying it's nice and dry over that side. But this side here is uh, nice and grey. Big grey clouds everywhere. So it peed down a minute ago. But uh, I'll keep dry. We've got the uh, tools and stuff out. So I started cutting that wood I put up there yesterday. I'll be cutting out, gonna make some framework and stuff. So what I'll do, I'll get back up there and show you what I'm doing. I'll see you in a second. All right, just starting a framework at the back. Just come across the back, it's nice and level. It's got a good floor on it. So I think it's 31 degrees on there. So I decided to put that on it, because uh, John, John Dunn, I'm saying uh, you're not getting snow on it, because I was going to lift it up so much, but uh, with all the diagrams I've been, it's at least minimum 31 degrees. It still doesn't get a bit of snow lying on it, but uh, it's got plenty of slope on there now, as you can see. So it moves tilted as well. It's a bit awkward to see it, really. It's saying coming across here, across there, making timber frame. Coming down, we're gonna have to mesh all the back of this off here at the back. Obviously, we're gonna get a few pigeons and stuff in there later on. So, we'll mesh all that off later on and get it all done. So, we cut the pulse in half to 2.4, the timber is. We've cut them in half, as you can see. Bit shaky. Cut them in half there into that section. Come at 31.5 degrees angle. And plenty of degrees coming down onto there. Alright, that's done the main structure of it at the back. You can see it all down there now. All nice and solid. So on the back of here, put like five screws in there in each one, in each piece of this. It's a good foot hanging down. Obviously we've got supports and everything going across. All down across here. Later on, it's gonna strengthen it all up. Well it's quite solid already now. But see at the bottom as well. What I'll do I'll put a Another three by two, straight across the bottom, all along there, just to support underneath, like loads of screws in there. Same again in there, so it's holding up as well, so it won't collapse down. But so it won't collapse anyway. It's nice and solid, that is. So it's got a good tilt on it now, so it will be like that somewhere. It's a really good tilt. So it's uh, 31 and a half degrees. So put all them to 31 and a half, you see, onto there. I'm gonna work it out in a minute, go over there, work all that out. Let me get back to you. So that's the files we got today. And if we put so many beams up across there, you'll see the weather's changed now. Sun's gone down, all disappeared. So we've got like a, well, it's like an handrail in a minute. I can walk across there, nice and solid that is. So just walk across. That's what's where I'm standing, so I'll fall through this uh, roof, the really carbon, as you can see. So I'm standing on these uh, beams that are going across onto there. So they put it on an angle. So it's a good angle, as you can see that. It's like 31 and a half degrees coming down there. So I don't want the snow staying on top. I'm saying the snow will probably still stay on top. But so I'm going to get a scraper from the top and pull it down when it's snowing. But in this weather, uh, our climate now, we don't get much snow at all. It's only usually March time, April. That's when we usually get ours. A bit strange now. Weather's have changed. Uh, anyway, so that's nice and solid now across there. All that, not moving. So then put the strength of the bars inside as well, in the middle, as you can see. Pushing on this now, not moving at all. That's just a bit of wood to go across this section afterwards. So other than that, it's nice and solid. So they've also screwed into the, see the plastic is there? So it's all ramming again now for your feet because it's been peeing down. Uh, in the middle of that, so then we've got the channel. In the middle where you screw the aluminium strip, as people know, the polycarb goes up to it. Same again in there, so screwed right in the middle of it all. It's nice and solid in there, but across there. I will put like uh, some spaces in between it and fix that down and seal that up as well. So we don't get no water coming across. So there's still plenty to get on with, plenty to do. But then we've run out of time. It's going dark. It's just uh, started peeing down, but it's gone off again now. But it's uh, on its way again, I think. So that'll do me for today. 
So I go in the, the shed and show me the solar panels. So in these army panels what I've got. So it is a German make. I can't pronounce that. Ski cover to there. So now 240 watts each. And a good bit of kit. German make. Down before I break it. And here's 34 there in total. So then it's 1650 I think. I measured earlier on. The height of them. Uh, the width of them is 9, 990. And I will get 20 panels on that roof now. I'm really happy with that. Uh, that's it really for that one. So I've got to wait for me inverters. So then this was the inverter, but uh, it's no good. So this is an 8 kilowatt one. So this is a Solace. These aren't a cheap uh, kit. So it's 8 kilowatt. But saying the reason why, how I found out, because we're just trying to find a connection for this, because the bolt never had the connection for it, it snitched off at the other end, he said, when he took it out. Uh, just trying to Google all, trying to find it there, but could not find a connection for it at all. So, put to the side, which I should have done in the first place. Uh, Googled the number, the product number. And that there where it says free, that should be one. So that three means three phase. And so a thousand volts should be two forty. So I just went by the block. Obviously, he fits someone takes them out every day, does it myself. So I listened to him and he said it was the right one, but obviously it's not the right one. But he said not a problem. He said he apologizes, he really does apologise. He did have a two forty one in there. And uh he's gonna change it for me to the five and a half kilowatt. And uh, the three and a half kilowatt, which works out better for me, because it's a dual one and it'll Makes sense for the solar power batteries. It's quarter past five now, and that's it. These batting lights are here. You can see the sun's gone down now. See a little bit of light over there. All gone. Uh, just lower the gazebo down for tonight, just in case the wind gets up and takes off. So we'll leave it there, so hopefully I'll do a bit in the week. So they will get the lights out and uh, back to work tomorrow. But the same, we'll get this done. Hopefully this week sometime. So there's three runs in there. Well, two runs. I'm going, but so now I'm going to move it across four inches this way so I can gain it so I can get 10 pounds at the top there. Looking good now, looking good. So it's had to come inside, obviously, it's pitch black out there now, you can't see nothing underneath the filter house where we tank. But I've got to finish off, not finish yet, no time. Obviously, get this solar panel up, save some uh, money and stuff really first. That's the main job. Uh, this one basically just getting all the woodwork and that done. Uh, Jabbed it all off, get that, all the woodwork and the framework being done. I've got to move it over a little bit, uh, four or five, uh, three to four inches that way. Then they'll have enough space this side here, so I'll get the ten panel run. So I should get twenty panels on there. So it'll be a lot better. Uh, I've got to go pick the inverters up this week. So obviously the guys give me the wrong one. It's giving me eight kilowatt, uh, three phase one, which is no good. So we've got a five and a half kilowatt hybrid, which will charge the batteries as well. There's a three and a half kilowatt that will do like run your house and stuff and bits for the daytime and like at night time hopefully put it back in the grid but I don't know how to do that myself yet, I'll have to look into that and get it all done. Uh, so that's it for this one really, so I do appreciate it, uh, thumbs up, uh, share like if you don't mind and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one.